wanted to do something about the environment since I am an environmental science major. So I brought that idea to Avery and then we kind of tossed a couple things around and settled on the idea of air pollution. <sighs> Collaboration was really interesting. There was a lot of synergy happening throughout the whole piece. Get your hands together and you're fully up. So when I had the audience listening to the music, I wanted the audience to breathe with us. The sounds were based upon simple and calm meditative breathing. And what I did is I got a bunch of my friends and recorded their breaths, had them calm down and slowly realize how their stomach was expanding and how they're exhaling air, growing, and then getting small again sound. And I mixed these two together, the breath and the guitar sound, and some percussive instruments. I had Chris Osley play a uh, udu. The breaths were recorded using binaural microphones, so it would create this 3D perspective of the sound, which is what I wanted to make happen. All that 3D sound inundating the audience, the house, so that you would feel push and pull going through you. In the Air We Breathe, I was the media designer for the show. I did all the projections. We, we did a lot of collaboration with the dancers, with the choreographers, that they wanted something simple, but not too literal, because at first I had the idea of an actual like, clouds and like, nature, but they, they wanted something more abstract. So I went through and tried to find something very airy for the original look for the clean air. And then uh, I really couldn't take myself too far away from the literal sense in the dirty air with the, the smoke. So we just did a little bit of uh, color correction on the smoke, made that blue to match their costumes. Our piece is about the people that breathe clean air and how that affects the way that they move versus those that breathe dirty air and throughout the piece the those that are breathing the dirty air they're wanting to be helped by those that are breathing the clean air and in that process of trying to be helped and grabbing for them they are inadvertently poisoning I guess you could say the clean air and so that's what's happening throughout the piece until finally there's only Joey left and he's the only one that was breathing the clean air and so it's up for the audience I guess to decide whether Joey, too, will be poisoned or whether he'll stay the way he is. It's a cliffhanger. It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs>